Hello, Kimara Hau and Ju. Hello, how are you today? Right, it's been a while since I've done any instructional Gaelic, and next week I have a Gaelic exam because you probably know that uh, last semester I've been studying Gaelic at university. So I'm doing some clips to remind myself of some Gaelic grammar. Uh, I'm going to be going over some coursework uh, as well. So it's a perfect time to share that with you so you can see what's happening. Now, we're going to begin with simple introductions and phrases to get to know you. Okay, so as you might remember, I'm sure somewhere in the archive of this podcast, these video clips, I've done this before. Okay, but this time will be a little bit more formal because I'm using my university coursework to go through these. So you probably remember Jane Tenemahorov is what is your name? Literally, it means J what and Tenem name is on you. And that's the very polite and plural the Orov. Okay, but these days in the Gaelic world, like everywhere else, it's very informal. J and Tenem a horst. J and Tenem a horst. And it's said fast, so you don't really hear the aha horst. It's simply J and Tenem a horst. Okay, uh, that's how you say what is your name. And as I was saying a moment ago, that literally means what name is on you. What name is on you. And we'll talk more about that construction in a minute. But we're going to go with this because it's informal. I want you to think of a name. Mary, Joseph, Ian, John. Think of your own name. I'm going to ask you this question three times. And I want you to try to answer with a name. Gentenemahorst. Gentenemahorst. Hello, Gentenemahorst. You got a name there? Good. Right. So, in Gaelic, um, I've given this woman the name Mary. Okay, so we can call her that. But in Gaelic, when you call someone a name, often, and I'm not going to get into the grammar of this. You've heard me mention it before. You can go and check in a grammar book as to how it works. But there's an H is often inserted. So Mary is this woman's name. If I say, what's your name, Mary? She'll say, my name is Mary. But if I call to her, it changes into Vary. So, Gentenema Horst, Mary replies, Mary. And then I say, hello, Avari. Now, just to confuse everybody and everything, Mary and Vari are both common names in Scotland from Gaelic uh, as Mary and Vari. So in the English world, you hear both these names in the same way as you hear Joseph. But in Gaelic, Mary becomes Vari when you call her. Vari. Ah, hello, Avari. But she herself calls herself Mary. And it's the same with Seamus. Let's try Seamus. Gentenema Horst. Seamus. Ah, hello, a Hamish. Now, in English, Hamish is often written like this. So you might recognize that. But in Gaelic, it's actually James, which is Seamus. It's Mr. Seamus. My name is James. When you call to him, hello, Hamish, it changes. Okay, now we are. Let's continue. So my name is Joseph. There's Gallic variations of my name, but if you're going to use an English name, don't touch it. Don't try to put an H in or anything like that, unless you're trying to translate it into Gallic. So for me, it would just be, hello, Joseph. If your name is Mary in English, Hello, Mary. 
unless you really want to call her Barry, right? Uh, names that you do know in Gaelic, like Seamus, obviously take that extra H. So we have another thing highlighted here, SEO. It means show. Simply, this is show Seamus. Okay, Jean. So Jean Tenema Horst is Misha Joseph. And my friend, I guess Mo Kharij. Don't worry, I haven't written this part. Show Seamus. This is Seamus. So I was saying that my friend, this is Seamus. Okay. So I'm introducing him. I'm saying this is Seamus. And then when I go to address him, because of the rule, the name changes. Hello, Hamish. So he calls himself Seamus, and I call him Hamish. Okay, it's not as creepy as it looks, honestly. Let's move on. Falcha is Misha Joseph. That means welcome. Is Misha Joseph? I am Joseph. Is Misha Joseph. And then we're back here to this J antenna Mahorst. Now, I was mentioning earlier, um, J antenna Mahorst literally means what name is on you. So when you answer, you can say, it is Mary that's on me. Mary is my name. Yeah, you could say, is Misha Mary, is Misha Joseph? But if you want to answer the question in the same way as it's being asked, which would be the correct way, you can also say, She Mary Ahorn, if her name is Mary, of course. Now, just so you know what that construction is, it's actually, you can see here, is a it is Mary that's on me, on me. Air on me becomes autumn, so this is on me. It is Mary that's on me. It's the name Mary that's on me, that's my name. Okay, so take your name and just add it in here. I'll say it three times, you ready? Okay, so uh, Jane Tenema Horst. Jane Tenema Horst. Jane Tenema Horst. She Joseph Ahorum. She Joseph Ahorum. She Joseph Ahorum. So just put your own name in there. She Ahorum. She Ahorum. She Aharam. Okay, so in this case, we've got this woman called Mary. I'm going to talk to her now. So I'm going to say, Feskel Ma, good afternoon. And now, because I'm addressing her, I'm calling her Vari. If you've been following my rosary prayers, you'll hear, obviously, with the Hail Mary, that Mary becomes Vari because you're addressing her. Veskarma Avari. Okay. Show Seamus, I guess, Jim. So now I'm introducing Seamus and Jim. I'm not calling to them, so I'm not going to call him Hamish. Jim's an English name. That's not going to get changed anyway. Okay, so imagine two men, one called Seamus, one called Jim. Ironically, in English, I suppose, they both mean James, but obviously they're different people here. Show Seamus, I guess, Jim. This is this is Seamus and Jim. Hello, Hamish. It's Mr. Joseph. Hello, Jim. It's Mr. Joseph. If they ask me, Jim Tenema Horst, I could have said, She Joseph Ahorum. It's Joseph that's on me. Or, as an introduction, I can just say, It's Mr. Joseph. Now, this next thing is going to blow your socks off a bit, 
Okay, just to warn you. A little bit strange, a little bit strange, but there we are. Okay, we'll just try to do this uh, just so you know. In the same way as I can say um, that Mary is on me, I can also say that good things, like a good afternoon, in fact, I can say anything is actually in me or in itself. Now, when I say anything, of course, there's rules about this. But this is how we express things like jobs, okay? Things like states, you know, conditions. So here we're saying, Shefeskermana, we said here, it is Mary that's upon me. In this one, we're saying it's a good afternoon that's in itself. Shefeskerma ahaun. Don't worry, I'll explain more about this in a second. Okay, ahaun. Ahaun. Okay, and I just wrote an here so we can talk about this. I'm going to give you another example of this, just to make it clearer, okay? Because I think, just to give you one example there, is probably a little bit uh, um, difficult. So I'll just quickly write another example, okay? Uh, let's see. There should be a little thing here, a little backstroke here as well, okay? All of these, yeah. So you can see the share is still there, and it's pronounced like she. Okay, and uh, I'm going to say uh, hitcher, hitcher, uh, hannam. Okay, now here I'm saying the same thing. Is e okay? But what I'm actually saying, the meaning of this, shehitcha ahanam. It's a teacher that's in me. So I'm saying here, I'm a teacher. So my point is this, okay? Um, um, there'll be more examples of this coming, so don't worry if you're not getting this. With names, this is the name that's on me, says Mary. For me, right now, I'm saying my occupation is a teacher. It's the teacher that's in me. Yeah? And here, it's a good afternoon that's in itself. I don't want to say it's a good afternoon that's in me, because I'm not a good afternoon, am I? Yeah? So, it's grammar. Grammar is always hard when you first see it. With practice, it gets easier. And besides, I've got some charts to show you in a minute that you can rush away and study. Right, now, you might have heard me in my podcasts and clips in the past saying um, uh, that I'm here in Paisley, for example. Okay. And Shaw, and I'm Paisley. Okay. Uh, Shin, Literally, if you address someone, um, the best way to think of it is as there, okay? To say, oh, there's Mary. Yeah, there's my friend, for example. Yeah, that's the best way to think of this, I think, because you're going to see it sometimes in conversation. So, Shin Mary would basically mean. Ah, oh, that's Mary. There's Mary. The literal translation of Shin is that. Okay. So in the same way as I say uh, show, to say I'm here, Shin can mean uh, that. And if it has a little prefix in the front of it, it can also mean uh, there. So Ansho here, Anshin there, Shin. Uh, stand alone, that, 
Okay, so oh, that's uh, Marie or Mari. Let's just change our name to Mari to make it easier. Okay, so just to recap, Shin literally means, oh, that's Mari or there's Mari. The literal meaning is that, okay. Ah, Vari, ah, Shin Mari, ah, Vari. I'm calling to her now, so I'm using her V pronunciation. Kemara hau. Mari replies, Haguma tapalet. I'm fine, thank you. Haguma tapalet. Informally, with the let, otherwise it would be changing. So, Haguma tapalet. Kemara hau hein, Joseph. How are you yourself? Notice as well there, there's uh, an H gone in there. So it's not Fain, it's Hain. It causes uh, a silence. So, Kimura Hahu, Hain. Shin Mari. Ah, there's Mari, that's Mari. Avari, Kimura Hahu. Haguma Tapalet. Kimura Hahu, Hain, Joseph. Haguma, Avari. Chanyo Donna, not bad. Tapalets. And then she goes on to say, It's a good afternoon in itself, which just means it's a good afternoon. All right, so I'll just highlight this. Okay, so you can see, you can come back and study this later. Okay, so very nice, very nice. Uh, I should really highlight all of it because we've spoken about all of it, but it doesn't matter. Right, so if you want to say this about other people, yeah, just to remind you what that looked like. So Mari, she's saying ha orum, which is air plus me on me. Okay, so she Mari a horum. It's Mari that's on me. If I want to say it about someone else, I can say uh, she shamus, she shamus a horse. Okay, let's just go back up here. So she marry a horn, she shamus a horse. Uh, the name uh, Seamus is on you. So it's like saying, oh, you're Seamus. Yeah, so Mary was saying, um, Mary that's on me. My example there, she's Seamus a horse. Ah, James is on you. You're James. Uh, my friend or my brother, Movraha, I can say, she Andra. She Andra. She Andra. A hair. You can see it there. Yeah. So his name is Andrew, or Andrew is the name on him. Andrew is on him. She Andra. A hair. On her. Uh, she marry. She marry. A hole. Just with a slight E. Okay, um, you've got all of the plural there as well. Um, I'm not going to do all of these right now because we, ha we haven't got that far yet and they can get a bit complicated. So there's one missing, you probably noticed. It's the one for they. I think, yeah, yeah there it is, it's down here. There it is. So, ora, on them. So, if you wanted to say my brothers, you can say the names on them. Yeah. So, for example, I go back up here. Um, she, uh, Mari Agis Seamus, Ahora. Yeah, Mary and Seamus are on them okay and just to go back to that example and we're not going to look at this now but to go back to that example of the afternoon is in itself and also i am a teacher it's a teacher that's in me and them 
and um, do you remember I gave you a brief example um, somewhere there uh, yeah there it is Shehitcher Ahannam it's a teacher that's in me Shefesker Ma Ahan it's a good afternoon that's in itself yeah so um yeah, in him or it. It's a good afternoon in it. Right, that's all we're going to do today. Okay, so I don't really like doing grammar, but it had to be done, and it's always good for you to study. So I'm going to go and upload this, and I'm going to call it Basic Grammar or Basic Gallic for Beginners. Um, because we've covered quite a lot there. I don't just want to call it Jane Tenemahorov because there's too much in there, I think. So I'll just call it Gaelic for Beginners or Basic Gaelic or something like this. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this. There's more coming because I have an exam next Friday. I need to prepare. Um, but just before we finish, um, I'm just going to say a few sentences. Jane Tenema, a horse. Um, I can say it's Mr. Joseph, but to answer the question directly, I would say, She Joseph Ahoram. She Joseph Ahoram. Ah, mm hmm. Uh, Shaw Phyllis. Ah, Phyllis. Mm hmm. Uh, Kimrahahu Ah Phyllis. I'm not changing anything there because it's not a Gallic name. Phyllis might say back, ah. Joseph, a Joseph. Kimrahau and you. Kimrahau hen and you. And I can respond Gleva. And after a short conversation, I can impress her by saying Shehicha Ahanam. And why that's Hitcher, by the way, is again we've got this H creeping in here, it interferes with the T. So Shehichar Ahanam, it's a teacher that's in me. I'm a teacher. Yeah. And then she might comment on the weather. She might say, Ah She Feskerma Ahon. It's a nice afternoon in itself. Yeah, and that's us. So what we do need to do though is practice a little bit more introducing people. But that'll come because we're going to get to I have a brother, my brother, and this is my friend, and his name is X, Y, Z. It gets a bit complex, which is why I really need to get through this before my exam on Friday. All right, but this is enough. The keep is going for the minute. This is unit one. There's five of them, so there'll be at least five more podcasts before next Friday. It's a good introduction for you. Okay, so uh, that's all for now. Martian Let, Chiri and Bye for now.